From eating everything in the sea to scaring people silly, here are eight things that could happen if the Megalodon were still alive. Shark Week definitely wouldn't be the same. Number 8. Largest Predator in the World When it comes to the Megalodon, it's important to note just how big and imposing it was. This was the biggest shark to ever exist in all of history. Bones and fossils of the creature show that on average it was around 60 to 70 feet long, though some scientists think it could have been up to 90 feet long. But its length is literally only half of the equation. The other half is its weight. It was estimated to weigh around 60 tons. That's a 120,000 pound shark. There's a reason it has a reputation for being the most feared predator ever. It was massive and could not be taken down easily. In fact, the Megalodon was an apex predator, which means it was at the top of its food chain. This is believed to be part of the reason they went extinct. They started attacking each other for food when the rest of the food chain started thinning out. So fast forward to today, and if this creature were still alive, it would drastically change how we look at the world. Because right now, while there are creatures in the world longer than the Megalodon, including the sperm whale and blue whale, those aren't carnivores. Well, the Megalodon was. So it would be the biggest predator in our world today, and might be able to give us humans a run for our money. Another interesting fact is that it's possible that if the Megalodon were alive, it might actually be bigger and more adaptable than its previous version. After all, the Megalodon was alive during a period when the waters of the world were much warmer, so surviving today would mean being able to live in cooler waters, which are all over the world. This creature was tough as nails, and given time to adapt, we would find it everywhere, in every ocean in the world. Either way you look at it, if the Megalodon were here today, it would be the most feared thing on Earth, and the oceans would look very different. Number 7. Different Ecosystem One of the most dangerous things that can happen to an area is the arrival of an invasive species that drastically changes the ecosystem. Ecosystems are communities of interconnected things that are dependent on the delicate balance between humans, animals, and plants. And if something in the balance changes, the ecosystem suffers. For proof of this, look no further than Florida, where boa constrictors have been released into the wild and now the entire ecosystem is out of whack. People couldn't handle their pets anymore, and the climate is perfect for them, so now we have gigantic wild boas to be worried about. So if that can happen with a simple snake, imagine what it would be like if the megalodon still existed. Because of their size, megalodons ate a lot, and this again, most likely led to their extinction because there wasn't enough food to go around. If they had survived and were still eating, the ecosystems of the world, or at the very least the ecosystems of the ocean, would be drastically different. For example, one of the more common things that megalodons ate were ancient whales. Estimates say that megalodons had to eat about one ton of food every day, and whales were a good way to get that. Nowadays, the biggest predator to whales is humanity, which is why a lot of whale species are endangered and protected. But you wouldn't be able to protect a whale from a megalodon, not very easily anyway. So it's possible that if there were even a couple thousand megalodons still around, certain whale species would be critically endangered or extinct. But it wouldn't just be them affected. Megalodons have been documented as eating sea cows, sea lions, and more. Plus, given how evolution works, they could have been able to adapt themselves to eat smaller fish in order to satisfy their hunger, which could put many more species at risk. So given all of these factors, it's probably a blessing that the megalodon isn't around today, because there might not be that much wildlife swimming around. And now for number 6. But first, would you get into the water if you knew giant sharks were swimming around? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe if you are new here. We have lots of new videos coming up. Number 6. Fear of the Water When it comes right down to it, one of the main reasons people fear the oceans of the world is because of sharks. Between real-life accounts and movies like Jaws, 37 Fathoms, and even The Meg, there is a cultural fear of sharks. Even though there are only specific sharks that are naturally aggressive to people, even the legendary great white shark isn't as much of a human attacker as you might think. But if the megalodon were still around, everyone would be afraid of the water. The largest recorded great white shark was about 23 feet, so if we take the megalodon at its max, that's about three times the size. And in terms of weight, a great white shark only weighs a couple tons, whereas the megalodon is about 60 tons. That's a 20 to 30 times weight difference. So knowing that this massive creature was out in the ocean and potentially swimming near the surface in virtually every ocean on Earth 
no one would want to go into the open water. There are some people who think that the Megalodon only lived in deep waters, which was actually a plot point of the recent movie The Meg, as the Megalodons were stuck in the Mariana Trench before they broke out. However, teeth of smaller Megalodon were found in much shallower waters, including on the east coast of the US. So while it wouldn't be in the shallows of the beach, it could be just offshore. No surfing here. And as for boats traveling the oceans, there would be a constant fear that a Megalodon would try and attack the boat. Sea transport would probably be different. Number 5. Humans versus Megalodons It's very true that all of this is speculation. I obviously don't know what would have happened if the Megalodon hadn't died 2.6 million years ago. That being said, asking these questions makes us look deeper into what the Megalodon was. So that brings up arguably the most important question of all. What would the Megalodon do if it ran into humans? Because it died millions of years ago, it wouldn't have met humans at all. So if it somehow did survive or resurfaced after living in deeper parts of the ocean somehow, would it be able to adapt? Given the shark's aggressive nature and tendency to feed all the time, it's very likely it would attack humans, boats, and anything else they got their eyes on. After all, whales and other large ocean mammals that they need for food would live on the surface. It might learn and test us out to see if we would make a good meal. Or, just as primal, it might want to defend its territory. Keeping that scenario in mind, that would mean that humans would inevitably strike back and try to take out the Megalodon. Humanity has never been above fighting dirty to get rid of a pest, and the Megalodon would definitely be bad for ocean business. What's more, humanity might see catching a Megalodon as the ultimate prize, and then sell it so that people could harvest its meat, oil, and more. We are very resourceful. Again, this is speculation. However, given the natures of both involved, it's not illogical to think that it could be all-out war of man against beast. Number 4. Shark vs. Shark Here's another question we need to ask ourselves. Would the Megalodon be kind to other sharks in the water? Believe it or not, there are many shark species in the world today that actually attack their own species, or just other sharks in general. Great white sharks, tiger sharks, hammerheads, and even seven gills are known to eat other sharks sometimes. Not always. So by that logic, it would be reasonable to believe that if the Megalodon felt the need, it would eat other sharks. This slightly ties back into the ecosystem balance, but on a different level. Now the Megalodon might actually go and eat things like the great white shark, the hammerhead, the bull shark, or even bigger ones like the basking shark and whale shark. Depending on how much the modern Megalodon would need to eat, it could potentially make many shark species extinct as well. Number 3. Advances in Technology Believe it or not, the return of the Megalodon actually would spark a small bit of a technological revolution. Simply because if humans did come up against it, we would need better research devices, stronger and more efficient equipment, and maybe even advanced weaponry or deterrence to keep them away from the swimming areas. In the case of deep sea explorers, whether it be manned or remote controlled subs, people would need to know that they could either repel the shark or survive its bite. While there are some known deterrents to sharks, that's only the ones that researchers are still investigating. Who knows if the Megalodon would even be affected by them? Scientists and engineers would want to make both offensive and defensive weapons to ensure that they could survive an attack if they were able to react quick enough. It also goes to speculate that radar would most likely be adapted so that it could better find and track any Megalodons in an immediate area. After all, if there was a 70-foot shark in the water near you, you'd want to keep an eye on it at all times. Number 2. What else is out there? One of the biggest mysteries of our world is the simple fact that we don't know what all is out there. There are many species that were believed to be extinct, but actually aren't. And there are other species that are being discovered today that have lived for tens of thousands of years. So if a creature from the prehistoric past lived to today, or going back to the previous scenario of suddenly appearing again, that would cast a lot of questions as to what else could be living out there deep in the ocean that we don't know about. What else is out there? If the Megalodon survived, could another prehistoric creature have made it too? And if they did, how did they survive? Where are they living? It's quite the mystery. Number 1. Jaws wouldn't exist Let's forget the Megalodon for a bit. In the real world, the most feared shark in the ocean is the infamous Great White Shark. And one of the main reasons for this is because of the book and subsequent movies known simply as Jaws. This depicted a great white shark, called Bruce, going crazy on a local beach that prompted some hunters to go out and kill the shark. Peter Benchley, who wrote the book and actually co-wrote the movie, used the primal fear of sharks and amped it up with the tale of Bruce being much more than great whites were capable of. 
In fact, in an episode of Mythbusters, they actually proved that Bruce wasn't capable of those feats, but that didn't stop people from being scared. And then legendary director Steven Spielberg took that fear to another level with the Jaws movie, which made sharks even scarier. But if the Megalodon did exist today, then there wouldn't have been a Jaws movie or a book more than likely, because while Bruce was big, the Megalodon was a lot bigger, a lot stronger, and there's no way that it would be as believable if the hunters were trying to take down this massive shark. Of course, there would have been many movies about Megalodons, but it likely wouldn't have been the same. Thanks for watching! What do you think would happen if the Megalodon were alive today? Let me know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you soon! Bye!